Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Ian, and welcome to my first Minecraft Mod Spotlight Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Portal Gun Mod Reconstructed. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey guys, there's also something I forgot to mention, is that I'm actually using a Portal Texture Pack, which I'll show you guys right now, which is called the Gritty Portal Texture Pack by K. Rue. So remember to, I'll show you guys the link in the description on where you can download that texture pack. Alright guys, so let's continue where we left off. I'm going to be showing you guys the portal uh, gun first. As you can see, it is nicely placed on this uh, stand. And as, you, as soon as you grab it, like this, you can see that it's reconstructed. And if you guys have noticed, that is actually a 3D model now. Um, the old portal gun mod, the old, the old portal gun mod was actually a 2D model. So if you just right click one wall here, or sorry, left click one wall and right click one wall, you'll get a blue portal and a orange portal for the normal portal gun mod. And if you walk through it like this, you come out the other end. So just like in portal, left click, right click, go through one portal and you'll fall out the other. And just like in Portal, if you actually go through, let's do this a little better. If you go through, let's see here, there you go. You will actually gain speed if you continuously fall through your never, end, never ending fall, which is pretty cool. Let's move on. All right, so guys, as you can notice, as you notice, there's a lot of things we have to cover. I've put like each individual item from the mod in each chest, so there's a lot of things we got to cover. All right, so this is the Portal Gun portal gun the crafting recipe let me show you guys the uh, crafting recipe for the default portal gun is two obsidian uh, iron ingots five iron ingots a ender pearl pearl in the middle and a diamond on the left hand side all right so that is the crafting recipe for the portal gun now if we move over here we'll show that there actually is a uh, portal gun subtypes as you can see there is a actually a potato gun which if you use a default portal gun and a potat oh I think that's an S or a 5 I'm not sure but it will craft the portal gun which is the potato portal gun and as you can see there's GLaDOS who actually talks <laughs> as you can see and also uh, uses different color portals it uses a green and a purple portal so that is one of the portal gun subtypes I'll also show you guys the other ones there is the if you take a default portal gun and a light blue die, you're going to get Atlas's portal gun, which Atlas is from the portal gun to, I think, uh, co-op. And if you take a default portal gun, uh, dandy, uh, dandelion yellow, you're going to get Peabody's portal gun, which are subtypes. And if you also get a portal, uh, default portal gun with a raw pro chop, you're going to get the bacon gun. So these are all the... Uh, portal gun subtypes. So let's see. So you got the standard portal gun, which shoots these two. You got the this one, the potato one, Atlas's, uh, Peabody's, and you got the bacon, or yeah, the bacon. I think it's bacon, but it's a pork chop on the end. But whatever. That's those are all the portal gun subtypes. So uh, let's just and eh, let's just put all these back in a very unorganized order. Who cares? <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. So now we got the long fall boots. I'll show you guys the recipe. The recipe for long fall boot is you got six uh, iron ingots on each side and two obsidian. That's going to get you the long fall boot. Now, if you make two long fall boots, you're going to put them together. You're going to get the long fall boot. Sorry, two long fall boot. You're going to get the long fall boots. All right. And the long fall boots, basically, when you hold on, guys, let's just let's just switch to game mode. I'll show you guys the fall damage pretty much. Switch to game mode. There you go. There you go. I'm in uh, normal game mode. So uh, let's let's see. Let's craft. Not craft. Sorry. Let's equip. All right. Now I'm gonna switch back. Game mode one. All right. So now that I have the long fall boat boots equipped, I'm gonna go really really high up, and I should take no fall damage. I'll show you guys right now mode zero and I'm falling and I gained no fall damage so that is pretty cool that's just a little demonstration of what the boots do so back to creative mode okay 
let's move on. Alright, so now we have the portal. As you can see, it's starting to rain, which I don't like. Hold on one second. Alright, let's fix the weather here, because I don't want you guys to hear the rain. So let's switch it back to weather clear. There you go. Changing weather to clear. Anyways, guys, let's continue as the rain slowly goes away with my magical powers. Okay, so we are on the now portal spawner. Show you guys that right now. So uh, if you get four iron ingots, a ender pearl, and two diamonds, you're going to get the portal spawner. So let's go over here real quick. Also, I would like to get my default portal gun back. Anyways, so <clears throat> portal spawner, I do believe it is not set up. Hold on one second. Let's go and get the portal spawner and place it. I'll show you guys the full tutorial. I, at first, I was just going to place it. I mean, it was going to be already pre-placed, but I actually want to show you guys how to place and every, everything. So you just place it down like this. It has to be connected to redstone like this and a lever, a lever. And if you right-click it, you're actually going to have the option to do portals close when redstone power is cut. Yes or no. So if you pick yes, you pick the kind, the portal color that you want to display, want to be displayed on the spawner. So I just click, uh, click this one. All right. So now if you right-click the lever. It's going to open up the portal. Now, if you do that, I should walk out of the spawner. All right, so uh, let's... Here, my bad, guys. I just didn't mean to break that there, but, uh, you know, creative modes. Uncontrollably, let's turn that off. Turn that back on and turn that back off. See, that's because I click yes. Now, if you click no, then you turn it on and you won't be able to turn it off. So there's a bit of options you can... Uh, you know, uh, set if you're maybe wanting to do a uh, maybe a portal like adventure map or something like that. So there's a lot of options with that. All right, let's continue. So that was the spawner. Now let's do single portal gun mods, or not mods, sorry guns. So if you get a portal gun and you cook it, that's not you don't actually need a lava bucket. You just need to cook it. You're going to get a single colored default portal gun. Now if you do the same thing with the yellow one, you'll get a single yellow default. And if you combine them together, you're going to get the standard default portal gun. Remember, you guys, you got to cook it in a furnace with coal or whatever. So let's move on. Now we're going to talk about the ender pearl dust. Now, this is kind of an interesting thing that um, I thought was interesting. If you have an ender pearl and you put it in a crafting table, you're actually going to get eight ender pearl dust. So one ender pearl is going to equal eight ender pearl dust. And what you do with the ender pearl dust is you can actually use it as fuel for your portal gun. See, like every time you shoot, you know, a portal, it's going to use one ender pearl dust. So if you want to challenge yourself, maybe if you're playing like survival mode or something like that, you can uh, implement that. But I don't really see why that's necessary, in my opinion, because it's kind of a, a hassle. But if you if you if you want to, you know, implement that uh, option, then you have the ability to do so. So let's continue. So weighted storage cube. Aha, so now we're getting into some true portal stuff here. You guys remember in the original portals, uh, portal game, there was the weighted storage cube and in portal two, there was actually the weighted companion cube. So to craft the weighted storage cube, you need four iron ingots and four stone just like this. That is gonna give you the weighted storage cube. Now this is interesting. If you actually take a weighted storage cube and you cook it with a rose, you're going to get the weighted companion cube. So you're actually using rose, a rose as fuel. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Let's uh, get these bad boys out and show you guys just what they do. So you can pretty much like push them around and they can't really, if you hit them, they kind of, oh, I didn't mean to break that. Let's make that fixed or fix that. So yeah, you just place them down, same with the companion cube and you just kind of push them around and you can I don't know, play with them, or maybe you can uh, put them on a aerial faith play. I'll show you guys that after. But uh, yeah, so let's move on. That those were the companion cubes and uh, weighted. What's it called? Weighted storage cube. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's let's just put these back where they were. Or that's not where they were, but whatever. And let's move on. So now we're into music disc, which I thought was pretty cool. So let's start up here. If you take a weighted companion cube. And you cook it, and you cook it in a furnace. You're going to get the music disc "Still Alive" by Jonathan Jonathan Colton. Now, if you take the music disc "Still Alive" by Jonathan Colton, you cook that. You're going to get Radio Loop. All right. So there's three discs: Radio Loop, "Still Alive," and if you take two Radio Loops, you're going to get "Want You Gone" by Jonathan Colton. 
Now also if you take five iron ingots and a radio loop disc, you're going to get a radio. Now let me show you guys the radio. I just uh, place it right here and it plays nice little music. I love portal music. It's awesome. So yeah, so that was radio loop. Oops, two radios got spit out for some reason. So uh, I might as well show you guys every single uh, music disc here. So we got radio loop, want you gone, and we're still alive. They're still alive. Right there, okay. And normal Minecraft music is playing, but who cares? Let's put it in the jukebox, and I'll show you guys the first one, which is radio loop. Remember guys that you do need the audio mod to listen to this music, so if you don't have that, the music will not work, so remember to download that. And this is Want You Gone. Well, here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Portal music so good, and this is my favorite. This was a triumph. I'm making a huge success. I love it. Dude, I love portal music. Awesome. I played through the whole uh, episode, but I don't want to copyright and stuff. Anyways, let's move on. So now we're in the weighted storage cube vent. So this is something that you implement in like uh, portal, adventure maps, stuff like that. So this, these are the crafting recipes for the weighted storage cube vent and the weighted companion cube vent. So remember, you need a weighted storage cube, weighted companion cube for this one, and a weighted storage cube for this one. And let's move over here. If you hook it up to redstone and a lever. You'll hit that and it will drop a companion or a weighted storage cube. And if you do it and you do it again, it will replace it for a new one. So it's just something you can kind of implement into, you know, adventure maps and stuff like that. All right. So now this is in Pancipation Grid or however, or Grill, however you say it. This is what this is something that is actually unfinished in this current version of the mod. The mod creator said they're most likely going to be fixing it soon. But right now it is unfinished and unusable. Don't use it. Pretty much what this is is if you guys remember, I don't know if you played Portal or not, but if you did, there's like a little like door that you'd walk through and it basically like deletes like you'd like walk through like this little like uh, wall thingy or invisible uh, grill if you will and it pretty much delete all portals when you walk through it so uh, yeah that was pretty much what that was so let's move on now we're into turrets alright so turret recipe the turret recipe is iron ingots redstone and two obsidian that is going to get you a sentry turret now there's also, when crafting sentry turrets, you every once in a while, randomly, and it's kind of rare, you're going to get an oracle turret. This turret, when you place it down, he says, like, I'm different, or whatever. So that was just a little interesting thing that I found out, that there's actually two kind of turrets. Anyways, so also, when you cook a sentry turret, you're going to get a defective turret, or a dummy turret, if you will. And now I'm going to show you guys how the turrets work. So basically, place down the sentry turret, and look at him. Usually he says something, oh, and if you kill him, he's shutting down. So uh, also, apparently like when you, you walk in front of these turrets, here. they don't shoot at you, but if you actually place mobs, like I'll show you guys right now, Deep place a cow, down. and oh, look at him, oh, he's murdering that cow. Are you still there? And I'm gonna go grab his beef. Give me the beef! Alright. <laughs> also the oracle turret, which I placed down right now, I'm different. see he says, I'm different! Also, he does not shoot at cows, apparently. Interesting. Alright, that I did not know. Oh! <laughs> Shit! Well, look at this cow, he's stuck in the... Okay, I'm just gonna put him out of, out of, out of his misery. I feel bad. <laughs> That's funny when he falls into a uh, portal. Alright, so I'll show you guys the last turret. Let's get rid of this guy. This is the defective turret. Oh. Now it's broken turret, it's time to shine! <laughs> Broken turret, it's time to shine. All right, so I place him down. This. You uh, put a cow, Watch and, learn, Watch and, learn. and he pretty much fails. I know cow, he's not doing his job. I know how you feel. Mm. All right, let's just that was later. Fun, wasn't it? Yeah, you too. Okay, so those were the turrets. Pretty cool. Just like Portal. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the aerial faith plate. All right, so aerial faith plate crafting recipe as shown, and that's gonna give you one aerial faith plate. <laughs> Now let's show you guys what they do. See this aerial faith plate? You guys gonna you guys wonder what happens when I step on it? Well, you're about to see it right now. 
Oh, look at that. And I bounce all the way back. And all the way back, I put them just the right distance so I can just be keep just constantly bounce back and back and forth forever. Anyways, so those are pretty cool. Now, it doesn't always just only just bounce me, but it can also bounce items and blo and mobs too. So watch what happens when I place a cow on the oh aerial faith plate, and there goes the cow. Oh, thus killing it. Well, that sucks. What happens if I place a block? Oh, it's also gonna launch the block. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now there's one more thing I, I need to mention about this, which is pretty cool. Is uh, oh wow, it keeps flying back and forth. Anyways, so you can actually adjust the horizontal and vertical power of the aerial faith plate. So say I want to, you know, put horizontal really high and vertical really low for whatever reason. Now watch what's gonna happen when I. Oh. How about we change it again? Say I want to put the horizontal nothing and the vertical maximum. Now watch, I'm probably gonna go straight up. Oh wow, it's actually not working. Why isn't it working right now? Hold on, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to, let's see. Let's see here. Hold on, hold on. All right, let's uh, break that there and get rid of it. How about we uh, put down another aerial fake play real quick. Here, let's just uh, get rid of that let's see so put on aerial faith plate all right let's adjust this the proper way okay put that on five put that on three and huh I don't know why it's not working right now this is interesting I'm doing exactly hold on maybe redstone no oh I get it okay so if I need redstone no redstone then it doesn't work okay so I'm still learning a little bit about this mod but uh, yeah, you should be able to adjust the vertical power. I'm just not working right now. Sorry about that, guys. But basically, like if I set the vertical power like maximum, I'll go straight up in the air. So that's also something you can implement into a portal uh, adventure maps. So let's continue. We got the electronic intelligence indicator. Pretty simple recipe. You got iron ingot, redstone, and glass. You're gonna get the uh, blah 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 blah. I can't speak. Electronic intelligence indicator. So you go over here. And you basically hook up the redstone and boop! Look at that. Check mark, X, check mark, X, check mark, X, check mark. Right, anyways, you get the point. Basically, it's like that thing that when you finish or you complete an objective in a like a uh, testing room, it will basically check, check mark, saying you're done and the door will open. So that's something else you can put into maps. All right, and the last but not least, which I thought was pretty cool. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Anyways, yeah, okay. So we got the high energy pellet launcher slash catcher. These are the recipes for that. As shown, you get the high energy pellet launcher and the high energy pellet catcher. <clears throat> so let's go over here. So this is the launcher and the catcher connected to a piston. Let's show you guys here, I'm flying around. All right, so if you click the lever, and it will launch a pellet which will bounce off any kind of object thus hitting going in the complete opposite direction now in portal i do believe that this thing will pretty much would pretty much go forever until something until it like pretty much something interrupted it like it hit me or something like that or like hit like the uh, catcher but in for some reason in minecraft it actually has a certain number of hits which i thought was pretty interesting so it doesn't actually go forever now Let's show you guys what happens when you when it hits the catcher. Now, before I'm going to show you guys that, I put a intelligence, uh, what's it called? Blah, blah, blah. Let's go over here. Electronic intelligence indicator. So I put that over here connected to redstone. So when the pellet is going to hit the catcher, it's going to activate this. So I'll show you guys that right now. So as you can see, the catcher is, or the pellet is bouncing back and forth. I'll hit the piston and bam. As you guys can see, it hit the catcher, thus activating the redstone, thus activating the checkmark thingy. Yeah. So pretty much that is all for this mod. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Ian. Remember to comment, uh, like, and subscribe if you're new. Expect more mod spotlights to continue because um, I'm on my summer break now. So expect tons of videos over the summer. Because I love doing this, and I love you guys' support. i also like to thank you guys for uh, helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. 
I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Ian, and until next time, later.